In this video, we're going to talk about Affirm and yesterday, as you can see on the daily chart, we had a gap and go and that was on news that Goldman Sachs analysts offered a compelling review of the company. Analysts at Goldman Sachs initiated coverage of Affirm stock with a buy rating and a $42 target. Goldman believes Affirm's strength lies in its strong underwriting ability diverse portfolio and sustained growth and so you see on the daily chart we have a band down at $26 and a band at $48 and what is that band if we scroll to the weekly chart what you will see is you have a resistance support band at this $26 level and on top you have a resistance support band at the $48 level again this is Goldman Sachs $42 price target. Scrolling back down to the daily chart because I do see another gap. However, this wasn't on earnings. This must have been on um, some type of catalyst which sent the, the stock from $26 to $48. But like I said, you had a resistance support band at the $48 which pushed price back down after forming this double top now going back to this $26 resistance support band you have resistance price came back based as the buyers and sellers were duking it out for position until the buyers won out price does have memory though so if you were to get price to move back lower I would anticipate and the chart suggests the buyers are going to step back in now one thing to note you have the 200 day moving average you have the 50 day moving average in red and you have the 100 day moving average in white what you can see from the daily chart is you do have a death cross that's where that 50 day crosses over the 200 day below it forming a death cross so that's very bearish for a firm however again they did get a pop in the stock um, but this could be the pullback before the next impulse move down on the daily chart now to get into some news firm stock enjoyed a strong late day push after Goldman Sachs initiated coverage on the buy now pay later company with a buy rating Indeed, Goldman analysts were clearly impressed by a firm's business model, setting a price target of $42. That applies roughly a 25% upside from the stock's closing price of $33.70. According to the firm, a firm's strength lies in its portfolio and underwriting. Indeed, analysts pointed out that a firm has a diverse portfolio of products for point-of-sale financing and everyday spending. Because of its strong loan underwriting, the company is also able to tap into subprime and near prime borrowers, which provides a notable competitive advantage. Finally, Goldman cited the firm's growing demand for its buy now, pay later, and pay in four payment options. Analysts noted that all of the choices should drive strong market share gains and help the company become one of the first new closed loop platforms in the payment ecosystem. Now, firm stock has struggled to build any momentum this year. Recently, stocks fell. After Apple announced that it would no longer offer its Apple Pay Later feature, still some speculate the change may open the door for firms' integration into Apple's iOS. So there you have it. The levels of interest to pay attention is going to be this $26 level and this $48 level on the top side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.